Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Pastor Doug. I'm the pastor here at Northview, where you go to school. And today we're talking about what happens later during Holy Week. Palm Sunday will be the second Sunday of April. The following Thursday is what's known as Holy Thursday, or sometimes we refer to it as Monday Thursday. Monday is a very old word, means holy also. And we remember on this day that Jesus gathered with his disciples, those who were his helpers, to have a final meal on Thursday night. Now he knows something very bad is about to happen. He's about to be arrested, falsely accused of a crime, and his enemies are going to plot to have him put to death. And he's told all of his disciples who have been with him now for years, that this day was going to come. But they didn't quite understand what he meant when he said this. And so in order to give them some way to understand it and some way to remember him later on, he had a special meal with them. We call it the Last Supper, or sometimes we call it the Eucharist. And they had items at that supper that were common then would even be common now when some people have dinner. They had bread, which was included in all meals, and something to drink, which at that time would have been wine, kind of a red wine, the kind that could be kept in a bottle that didn't need a refrigerator because they didn't have them at that time. These were common things that would have been consumed at a meal in Jesus' day. Now this is a very special night. It's a holiday known as the Passover. Jesus and his helpers are all Jewish. And Jewish people, both then and now, celebrate the Passover holiday. And they have certain foods that they eat at that time. Just like when you and I celebrate Thanksgiving, we have certain types of food that we eat then turkey, stuffing, pumpkin pie, things like that. When Jews celebrate the Passover, they have bread and they have wine. And Jesus, wanting to give them some way to understand what was going to happen, as well as something to remember him by later, took the bread and at first he said a blessing. That's meaning he said a prayer of thanksgiving. You may say a prayer before mealtime as well. When I was your age, I was taught a prayer to pray before meals. God is great. God is good. Let us thank Him for our food. By His hands we are fed. Thank you for our daily bread. Later on, I learned a prayer that I use oftentimes now from an old pastor. Dear God, may this food be blessed and our hearts made grateful. Jesus said a prayer over the meal same way you may say a prayer over the meal. But then he took the bread and he broke it in two. And he gave it to the disciples. And then he took the cup of wine and he gave it to them too. And he said, just as this bread has been broken, my body is going to be broken apart. And just as this wine is red like blood, my blood will be shed. And the disciples didn't fully understand what he meant by that. But later they would. He was preparing them for what was about to come. And we'll talk about that next when we talk about Good Friday. So now we'll do our prayer. So make your prayer hands and repeat after me. Dear God, Bless my family, bless my teachers, bless my friends, bless me. Amen.